Hi everybody, it's me, Laura. I am here finally with my recap of this weekend. I had a very good weekend. It was stressful and hard, especially leading up to what I did on Sunday morning, um, but it was really important to go through and, and I feel very, very glad with what I did. So I wrote it down so that I could tell the story a little bit easier. So I'm calling it, I went to a kingdom hall. I went to a kingdom hall. I tried not to have it be us versus them. I didn't want it to be. As I walked up to the hall, a childhood friend of mine was holding the door open for her little daughter. I wanted to give her a big hug and catch up, but she wouldn't even look at me. We went in and found seats. We were 10 minutes early, but no one talked to us. It was the hall I had grown up in, but I hadn't been there in over 10 years. I only knew about two thirds of the people. The talk was given by another childhood friend of mine. It was about turning to Jehovah in times of need. He discussed how even at our lowest, we need to be sure not to forsake the gathering of ourselves together because here is where Jehovah's spirit is. To not let our minds get separated from God's organization. I couldn't help but wonder if he realized that he was making every person that struggles with depression in their feel even smaller and more worthless than they already did. Tad and Taylor didn't even make it through the talk. They were outside, in the neighboring sunflower patch. Right where they should be, with God, outside with God. I had my worldly sidekick inside with me, and he caught some good stuff from the watchtower. Like this interesting comment given by an ex-Beth White, in harmony with that thought, we might think that um, a good way to uh, combat this would be to know what's out there so that uh, we could build up our own faith. Well, in harmony with the illustration of staying away from an infected person who has a contagious disease, we wouldn't knowingly go infect ourselves with what they had so that our body could build up immunity. Um, by the same way, we wouldn't seek to find out what they're saying so that we could build ourselves up. So we want to stay with a way, that's what Jehovah tells us, is just to stay away from it completely, which is what we would do if someone had a contagious disease. Good point, and brother? Which I found fascinating since people regularly inject themselves with infectious disease viruses through vaccination to build up immunities in a supposedly safer way than catching the disease outright. And then I found out my sister was there because she commented. My sister Sandra. And when I was going over this watchtower, the scripture in Psalms mm -hmm. 31 5 really touched me because it says that into your hand I entrusted my spirit and you have redeemed me, O Jehovah, the God of truth. And so when I was thinking about this as a personal application, I was just thinking the love of Jehovah is so strong within us that we know no matter what the person is or who the person is, no human can take us away from Jehovah and the one who redeemed us. Okay. And Sister Well? I have. can see her right over my shoulder. She had several how I deal with apostate comments prepared. She knew I was coming. That's why my parents weren't there. And it was a little tricky having Lolly there with me. I, I've never had my babies at a meeting before, and it went pretty good. They were very good, but by the Watchtower study, little Lolly there was getting pretty tired. She was trying to fall asleep in my arms. Oh, and I almost forgot. Here's a little clip for, our, for Jada and our friends with the JW survivors. And many times in situations, apostates like to introduce themselves. At conventions, often we're told to be careful. 
um, people will try to slip in add literature into people's bags and, and those types of things. So situations we have to keep the lookout not just to seek them out but also protect them if they try to find us. And Brother Jeff. But anyways, they were expecting us to flyer the lot. Tad said brothers came out twice and walked through the whole lot and inspected each car while he was outside with Taylor. They were not expecting what I did though. I tried really hard not to have it be us versus them. But that damn Watchtower article didn't leave much wiggle room. And my sister's 15 year obsession with proving herself better than me didn't make it any easier. But I gave it my best. My cameraman flubbed it, but I waited till they were all done with the final review point. Then I just stood up and took a few steps toward the front and said, it is not true that those you've labeled apostates are mentally diseased. They've left this organization of men for many good reasons, such as its 10 year affair with the United Nations, or its ungodlike hateful practice of parents son shunning children. I love you all. <laughs> the conductor began speaking over me at the ungodlike hateful part though. But I got in the UN statement. I refused to leave the meeting until the meeting actually ended. And after it was over, I went up to the Geyer family to make the apology that I have been wanting to make for almost 20 years. The, the father, Brother Geyer, looked absolutely petrified of me and just shook his head and tried to step behind another brother. As I told him I was sorry for lying and that his son had told the truth. As we walked outside, no one I looked at would make eye contact. But in fairness, I only looked at a few in my line of sight, and several of them were elders. In reflection, I realized that not a word I said probably mattered at all. I bet no one can recall what I said, even the UN comment. I think the shocking method of delivery made it really difficult to retain the information. Even though I did everything possible to deliver it respectfully, the only thing anyone remembers is that someone stood up and disagreed. And you know what? That's almost better in a way, because it breaks up the group think that is going on. Each one of those minds in there is independent and thinks for itself, whether its owner or the watchtower wants it to or not. My desire is only to let people know that it is okay to be different. Even if you can't figure out why it's okay yet, it is. Even if everyone you know thinks you need to be this way, you don't. There are people out there who have figured out why not to be that way. I also know that there were, was more than one person sitting in that hall who is subscribed to not only me, but several other of you YouTube apostates. And they have made very quiet sounds of approval. I also know that I have been friended on Facebook today by other people who were at the meeting. So I know that what I stood up and said in there, I was not just saying for myself. I was saying it for all of those who ones in there who feel unable to speak for themselves. I was saying it for all the rest of us who know that their teachings of fear and hatred are not the path to true happiness, rather to oppression, depression, judgment, self-righteousness, and fear. So my camera buddy asks on the way home, if they are all so happy, why do they sound so miserable when they're singing? Which is an excellent question. 
out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks or sings, right? I can't deny that I welled up with tears during the second song, despite the deflated sound of the th singing. That hypnotic bait and switch is addictive. The liquid morphine drip felt so familiar and comforting that I broke down in tears. I have gained a mind-blowing amount of strength in doing this. I'm going to go this Sunday and flyer some cars at another Area Kingdom Hall. Jada had a big sign made. I've been in love with that idea for a while, and I'm going to get in, look into having my friend make me one. I would also like to go to another hall where they don't know me and try to comment. So, if anyone has any suggestions for comments in the Watchtower in the future, let me know. I'll go give your answer and record myself. Doesn't that sound like fun? So, that's all for tonight. I've also decided that I'm going to be telling my story in a lot more detail in the following weeks. So, I look forward to sharing more with you all. Thank you. Peace and love.